Welcome back everyone to Intrigue Media, your favorite channel for intriguing content. Today we're discussing the kids who went to jail for crazy reasons. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our new daily content and hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. This video was really interesting in doing the research on, so definitely let us know in the comments below which one of these children you think was the most diabolical and deserves to be in prison for the rest of their life. I have mine already picked out, so let me know yours in the comments. Number five, Zachary Neagle. Zachary Neagle was a 14 year old kid who was sentenced to jail for 96 years. This was due to his crime of shooting his dad after a fight. To his credit, it was supposedly to save his siblings from abuse from the father. Number four, Lionel Tate. Lionel Tate is the youngest name on this list at the time of sentencing. He killed his younger sister at the age of 12 years old. He was finally sentenced to lifelong imprisonment, which is due considering there was a no real reason, of course, to commit such a heinous act. Number three, Petrie Curti. To me, this one is shocking and unreal. Petrie Curti used to be a robber and would later kill his victims. Considering he was only 14 years old, you would never expect such activities out of a 14 year old. However, he did it multiple times, but somehow only received 12 years in jail. Far too lenient considering the crimes in my opinion. Number two, Jackie Kip Miller. Jackie is a real piece of you know what. At 19 years old, she got pregnant but did not want to risk embarrassment, so she decided to kill the baby. She threw him in the trash bin and figured no one would discover the child. She was finally sentenced to 110 years and hopefully they double the sentence if she somehow outlives it. Finally, number one, John Venables. At a very young age, John Venables kidnapped a two-year-old baby with his friend at the mall which would later be thrown on the railway track. Yes, the baby was thrown on a railway track. The baby died and the two friends received prison sentences that were far too lenient in my eyes. They were released at 18 and given new identities. However, John Venables was later charged with child pornography and ended up back in jail, where I think he should have been in the first place and never let out. But again, let us know in the comments below do you think John Van Abels should have never been let out of jail? And also, which one out of this list do you think should be in jail forever? Okay, think about that. Forever. Made to stay alive, to be in jail forever and suffer. Because honestly, all five of these were quite diabolical, except one. So let us know in the comments below. That's all that we have for today. As always, we hope you all enjoyed and learned something new that sparked your curiosity for another day. We hope to see you back tomorrow for another intriguing video, but until then, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to find out exactly when we release a new one. Thanks for watching.